Those calculators that are built and are still built today in Excel for many companies, they're not built by salespeople. They're built by whoever knows Excel the best, and they put in all these stupid lookup tables, and it populates a magic number, and there's no way to explain how that comes up. Smoke and mirrors. Yeah, smoke and mirrors. You could do it in Excel properly. It's because it's built by a sales rep for a sales rep. I've been in the trenches selling for over 20 years. I know what reps can do. I know what reps can't do. And I know what prospects will understand and what they'll push back on. So I think it's just my approach in how I build these things out. It's not smoke and mirrors. I'm not trying to build a P&L statement. I'm just trying to give you an idea, David, when you walk through this calculator with your basic numbers, even if you take educated guesses on some of the inputs, you could buy into that number. Because you have the conservative factor. So for example, you're, you're taking some educated guesses on your side, like, okay, I think that it takes uh, four people probably about six hours a week to fill out all these different spreadsheets. In reality, maybe the average is actually three, but that's okay because you overestimated a little bit. And then again, let's just put a 20% conservative factor in there just to kind of cover the buffer zone basis. And you still have a pretty realistic number of how much your business is going to save. But what I love is how it says, this is your cost of doing nothing and big red numbers, how much money you're losing every single month doing the things, doing things the way that you do. Well, you mentioned it early on when you were talking about losing to the no decision. And the reason you lose to the no decision is the prospect did not see enough value in what you showed them or there's no compelling event. So being from a salesperson's point of view, you have to show them A, what it's costing them, B, and try to create that compelling event. So I just built it based on common sense. 